Good morning. Hello, Jean. This morning, actually it's afternoon. Um, and by the way, I'm still dressed in my yoga outfit. Just got back from, from yoga um, a little while ago. And, and now it's time to make lunch. And today we're having our Middle Eastern tabbouleh. And you can find a recipe for Middle Eastern tabbouleh in our mostly raw vegan meal planner. But the recipe I'm going to make this morning actually is even simpler than that. It's a recipe that, that um, well, we, we have one of our favorite restaurants um, in town is a Middle Eastern restaurant and they serve the best tabbouleh. And so I've just simplified my recipe to try to mimic theirs. But um, before I went to yoga, I put one cup of whole wheat, whole bul bulgur wheat in um, this, this bowl the stainless steel bowl and I covered it with one and a half cups of boiling water and I just let it set until it was nice and fluffy and that's kind of the basis and then I went and picked some nice uh, parsley from our garden this parsley actually wintered over and it's parsley that I planted last year so I'm pretty excited about that it just it's growing and flourishing out there and then we have some wonderful organic um, heirloom tomatoes from our garden as well and that are all diced. That's about, oh, a good half a cup, maybe a little bit more, as well as a, a good generous half cup of diced Vidalia onions. We like the sweeter onions because it's, they're just a little milder. And then we'll put in the juice of one whole lemon and then a little salt and a little olive oil. So let's get started. Um, first, we do need to prepare the parsley, which most of it has been prepared, but I like to take the stems off. Don't like all those stems, and I just kind of quickly remove the, kind of twist off the hard portion of the stem and stick it right in my food processor. Try to remove the dirt and make sure there's no little uh, caterpillars in there. I see there's a little a little caterpillar. Where is he? I think He's I right here. Okey-doke. He's pretty. He's light blue and pink with black dots. He's gorgeous. I don't know what he's going to become, but that's our parsley. And then we just put it in the food processor with the S-blade and, and uh, turn it on. And, and mince it. Not too fine. Uh, and you certainly don't want to puree it. It'll go to mush. But I'm going to give it another spin or two. Alan, this is one of the simplest and most nutritious recipes. It's especially nutritious because of the parsley. And, you know, green is good, right? Green mm -hmm. is super nutritious. It's got all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So I'm just going to actually uh, dump the, the ingredients in. And now here goes the tomatoes. Aren't those beautiful? I can't wait to eat those. And then the onion, delicious. And now just um, the juice of one whole lemon. I found that with this um, amount of tabbouleh, you really need a whole lemon juiced to give it that nice tart flavor. And I like to use my little juicer. It's got some tines there that keep the seeds from going in to the recipe and voila we'll just kind of drizzle the lemon juice over and where's my spoon here I'm just going to give it all a, a little toss here just kind of incorporate all the ingredients it's beautiful I love this stuff and it keeps for a few days in the refrigerator so it's really good and an easy lunch to pack to go to work if you have to work outside the home. Um, Is that it? There's more? And then I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of sea salt and just, just under a half teaspoon and drizzle with just a little olive oil, not too much, um, just about a teaspoon. And then again, give it a little toss. And let's see how this is going to taste. It's kind of a big spoon, but. Oh, that is perfect. I love it. 
Excellent. You ready to eat lunch? Sure. All right. All done? Great.